Okay, everybody, uh, thank you for joining us. This is episode 15 of uh, Ballyhonest Top Dogs of Kiel. And um, here we hope to have um, Mark, the Oracle Phillips, coming in. And we got uh, William, the hitman Nestor here. Hello, William. How are you, Vinny? Yeah, it's been a tumultuous week here. It's been insane, hasn't it, guys? Yeah, it's been uh, <clears throat> it's been terrible for me, but a, a lot of guys, the guys up the top of the table have been doing really well. They've had another good week. Yeah. Um, I don't want to put you on the spot, but you sent um, a video clip of your uh, triple captain, William. I did, unfortunately, yeah. Ah, look, I don't regret I don't regret doing it. I felt it was the right decision at the time, but uh, just nobody saw that coming from Fulham, really, did they, you know? Well, we thought at the bare minimum. We're not putting it on man air, we? Could not be at home to Fulham. So, let's get Mr. Vardy, make captain, keep Madison, vice captain, four or five, nothing, at home to Fulham. Absolute dog Oh, shit. man. Triple cap. Oh, that man. You had to go and do that. I can restart again, William, if you want. <laughs> I can do that, no oh, problem. Oh, Vinny, Vinny, you had to rub salt in the wounds. <laughs> um, I don't know, this Vardy thing, um, I had, I didn't even look at the Fulham fixture, to be honest with you, and then then it was all this, oh my God, have you seen the latest thing? Everyone's on Vardy. I said, what? Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. and, uh, he was the most captained, he was, he was the most captained uh, captain for the week overall. He had over a million captains. In yeah, the game. That, that, that's true. Um, I've just got my news here. Um, where's the news? There it is. Um, yeah, the Vardy, the Vardy show, as you said, there was 1,039,000 who captured him. And he had something like, he's over 25% ownership now. So, um, yeah, that, I think it's, that's mm. something like maybe overthinking. Pictures are still good. Yeah, maybe overthinking it a bit, William. Oh, I'm not getting. I'm not, I can't get rid of him now. I mean, no. Like, I brought him in because the fixtures were so good. No. Triple captained him because it was Fulham, and Fulham, you know, were just so bad up until now. Like, you know. Okay. Um. So let's uh, forget about this uh, Vardy thing anyway, because I'm sure you'll have to go all the way with them and stick with them and keep Madison, and it will probably come round. I just got it um, for yourself. That it, it, at least you got something out of it. That's it's not well, yeah. in the world. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's play the the video if I can get that done, and we'll get a zest of the the show today. Yeah, I want to get uh, really kick you in the, the teeth this week, William. Very sorry about that. Um, I was That's made to feel I was made to feel so stupid. Oh, oh my God! You know, I'm I'm just not overthinking of this uh, year, William. Um, I'm gonna go with what I think my team basically needs. Um, as you've seen, that we have no Villa and Newcastle match, so this is going to really hit all of our yeah. um, our teams here. I'll just go into uh, my points. I've got a load of Villa. I've got no Newcastle, but um, uh, I haven't done anything since. I'm waiting until Thursday for Friday now. We've got Friday. No deadline on Friday. We can see if anyone gets injured tonight. We've got Champions League stuff going on. We've got more tomorrow. I think Chelsea are tomorrow. Uh, you're tonight, William, are you? Liverpool? Yeah, Ajax. Uh, yeah, Ajax, yeah. Right. Um, 
that's good stuff. Just checking on the recording this. So uh, yeah, this is a massive conundrum, and this is the first game from the last season, which was postponed due to COVID in the Newcastle team. Um, there's uh, been a few positive cases. They play down in Crystal Palace, so they managed to get that one in. So Palace will have to be careful. It could, you know, like it's like a domino effect, isn't it? The COVID, William. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not a great sign to have to have a game called off like that. I hope there's no more postponements. You know, it'll make a mess for. I suppose being selfish here, it'll make a mess for FPL, really, won't it? You know, you'll have double game weeks now and a lot more planning to do around that. Well, I have three Villa here, as you can see. Nyland doesn't play, but I've got a loss. I've been dependent on Martinez, so that's all, all of us. All straight away, I'm goosed there. Concert. I need to do. I'm going to have to do two minimum and leave it at that. It looks like I'm going to have to stick with Salah. It's infuriate me how I can't get rid of this guy. Um, for Fernandez, I've been sticking with him like gospel, and he's yeah. himself and Prowse. I think have saved me over the last couple of weeks. Uh, well. Definitely, yeah, they had, they had brilliant game weeks. Yeah, the two of them. Um, and obviously, like he was, uh, he's about six point two million now. Um, it was six point one, but he's going to go up to six point two. Um, I have him at five point nine. I had him in early, so I can't really do much, William. But just try and cover the Villa, um, and they're going to have two extra game weeks. So how are they going to fit them in? And they're going to have to play like every every second day, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Well, Jordan, I Villa and Newcastle, neither of them are in European competition, so they'll chuck them in some midweek, won't they? Yeah, I they don't could know. do that, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. So it's no major catastrophe, I suppose, there. Um, right, um, just wanted to also, oh, I have to admit, Mark, I've got Mark here. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mark. Congratulations. Vita you. You are number one. Yes, boys, what's the crack? Yeah, you're the top dog. Let's let's get confirmation of this. We are um, in the presence of greatness right now. <laughs> do I? It's, my, do, can it's I, my pleasure, guys. My pleasure. We're all top dogs. We need to virtually kiss your sovereign, <laughs> your scepter. Well, Mar Willie, you must be in shock and form today. Yeah, you want to see that? You want to see what Vinny just did to me? He ran the video of me, uh, triple captain and Vardy, just to stick a knife just, in just my ribs. Just to rub it in, no over it. Too yeah. fair. I know you can take it, I William. It. I know you can take. I can, it. of course. Of course, I can, Vin. Um, but uh, seriously, it's, it's really... your birthday, so I was praying and hoping you do something. But loads of people at Vardy. I think um, did I don't know, Mark? Did you? You didn't have Vardy, did you? Or did no? Um, no, I got lucky you now at De Bruyne this week. Marky, what are you yeah, going to do with him in it? Oh, I haven't a clue, uh, Vinny. I was hoping to get in Callum Wilson, but I'm after here in Newcastle, it's, it's cancelled, so yeah, yeah, I haven't a clue. Look at that. Uh, Look at the front three six points from the front three, and yet he still kills it this game week. Like, that's yeah, I got, I got extremely lucky with my captain pick and my midfield. Yeah, your midfielder on fire. Thankfully, now, um, Yemen is, I don't know who to bring in, to be honest. Um, I've Bamford and Kane there. Oh, I don't really like DCL. He doesn't have great pictures coming up. What's that? Calvert Lewin. Yeah. Um, Bernie away, I suppose, next. Yeah, but then after that, I think it's poor enough. So I'll be looking at more of a, a long term thing. Maybe, maybe bring in a cheap striker and save the money for, for next week. We'll see. Well, there's no Villa. You've got no, you no, no Newcastle, and you got no Villa. So you're in, well. You got Grealish. Would you not consider uh, doing something with Grealish, or would you bench him? Um, probably bench him, wouldn't you? No, I'd be holding on to Grealish. Definitely, yeah, holding uh, on to Grealish. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, William. Uh, sorry, William. I think uh, Marky's got loads of girlfriends now since he's top of the crystal ring. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, you should see my my inbox. It's it's full. I've I've got, got I've got, got I've got loads of um, lovely beautiful looking women that are probably searching for you all over town to be honest with you, Oracle. Um, yeah. It's um. Here, here's, single... here, here's one of them there now. Um, <laughs> you, you've become very popular with the women, Marky, since you're top. 
And uh, yeah, I just wanted to go through a few of these pictures. Obviously, Diego Maradona, 1986 World Cup winner against West Germany, 3-2. He didn't score that day, but he's famous for the hand of God. So just a little shout out for Maradona. Um, explain this, um, any, any of you boys. What's the story here with this graph? I didn't even look at this when it was put in the group. I, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I think I put that in, Vinny. Um, it just explains your game week, really. You, you, you wake up Monday morning, you're on, a, you're on a downer from maybe a bad game week. Next yeah, thing, yeah. your hope rises for the week. On Friday night, you're at, a, you're at a high point because you think, this is my week. And then the weekend, it all comes crashing down again. Well, you've not had many of them now, Marky, in all fairness. Thankfully, yeah, thankfully, not yet. So uh, that's me this season. You're lying in 13th, unlucky for some. Um, okay. Um, well, so we get, well, Cavani. Uh, Philly, you could be worse. You could be worse than 13th. Yeah, yeah Cavani. 28. Yeah, Cavani is, is he a guy that we should consider throwing on the bench? What price is he, Mark? Would you put him in instead of him in it? Yeah, I think he's 8.8 8 million. I was looking at him actually. Um, Martial is injured too, so maybe he's scoring goals. But will he? Will he? Will he start? I don't think so. Um, uh, well, apparently, I think he's okay for the Champions League game. He'll be starting. There's a possibility he might be banned uh, for a game or two. I don't know, but it, it seems to be the culture in South America where Suarez is. We won't get too much into the name, as you can see here. Is um, thank you, um, Negro, Negrito is like. Uh, black person or something but it's 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 the culture over there but over here it's not acceptable so it's just uh um he scored two goals and he won steve Strett the money um the other day i've got the slip here um many nights were two nil down a half time and uh steve steve Strett for nolan i've just got some information about the the villa he he won 360 euros didn't he on that Bet at half time, we united two nil down. There it is, that's his bet. He a two nil down. Um, you know, I went on to win three two, and that's a great well done, Strat. Yeah, nice little win there, Vinny. Um, back to Cavani. He's um, look, if he made a race for Mark, he's going to get a, a ban, isn't he? That's fair enough. So I'm going to wait till yeah. Friday and see what happens. But between the COVID and between everything, injuries, the whole lot. I mean, you have to wait till Friday and see, just see what the story is. So, uh, so basically, this is something about for Bruno Fernandes that was picked up in our WhatsApp group, Top Dogs. After Saturday's game, I told Rashi he will take the next one. I remembered that. It doesn't matter who takes the penalties. The most important thing is scoring. When the team scores, I score too. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you Lovely. do a great Bruno Fernandes impression, Vinny. I have to hand it to you. Yeah, it's it's amazing, isn't it? I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy he's giving a penalty I, I to Rashford soon. You were Bruno on Saturday. Yeah, well, I love Bruno. He's been do he's only the only guy keeping me in it with you, but you have him as well, don't you, Mark? So the, the problem with FPL is that I need to find a way to get off any dudes that you you um you have, Mark, and the same with uh, Neenan as well. Um, I need to find some sort of avenue and my avenue could be maybe going more city. I have to cover your Kevin De Bruyne. It's just, it's infuriating. I've got Villa now, so I, I don't, I, I might have to let, how can I let Kevin De Bruyne go against Fulham and you'll captain him? Well, you won't tell me because we don't show and tell anymore, but um, what's your take on the city stuff, guys? What are we going to do? I think City are in for a good run. But the problem is with City, who do you bring in? Um, Maher is, I've seen, I've seen a good stat the last day. He started seven of the last eight games for City. So he could be an option, but um, he scored a hat-trick last week, so he probably won't get another hat-trick, obviously, but he'll, he'll chip away with a point with a, a goal or two. Ferran Torres, I think Pep likes Torres too. He's a cheap option too if you wanted to bring him in also. I think Willie likes, uh, Willie likes the defenders, and Willie Cancelo or Diaz, I think one of those. Well, I, I was up until before this game week and then Cancelo wasn't starting. So that, I didn't realise Pep was going to go back into that rotation thing so much again, you know, but he, he clearly is like, so you don't know, will it be Mendy or will it be Cancelo? So like, you can't, I can't, well, I couldn't touch them, to be honest, but 
at this point, it really doesn't matter who I bring in or take out because I'm so far behind. So I don't mind telling me I've already done my business for this coming week, which you might say is mad because you have the midweek games, the Champions yeah. League. But I, I, uh, with the way I just look at the price changes so much, I'd be priced out to certain uh, transfers, you see. So I brought in Mares because he's such great value. Like, Yeah, and, yeah good move. You know, like he's whatever, four million cheaper than De Bruyne. And Mara's playing higher up the field, more higher ceiling for goals. And plus he's a differential. Like everyone is going to get KDB this week. Everyone is going yeah. to buy KDB like. And they might forget about Mahrez, So I think uh, with Mahrez too, he, he has the potential to get two or three goals in the one game where KDB yeah. will just tip away with the assist or a goal. He, or an, now you said it. That's the, my thinking. KDB, goal and assist. Mahrez. Two goals, three goals, two goals and an assist, you know. Then again, Sterling, like Sterling could come back into the team and act, absolutely smash it. He could, mm. you know. Um, the only thing about that is, is he could be a, a rotation risk. Yeah, well, the way I'm looking, I'm hoping he doesn't play this week. Or is City out tonight or tomorrow night? Tonight, isn't it? Tonight. Must see what see what the lineup is. You'd fancy Porto Sterling. Tonight, yeah. Porto there is, tonight. Sterling starts. Huh? Yeah, FC Porto tonight away. So yeah, St- be- Sterling is starting, so that that that's good for Mahrez owners for FPL. You know, Vinny, what was it that you called um, Cancelo last week? Was it was it Cancelaro? Oh come on, Cancelo. <laughs> uh, Cancelario. We've it's got better. Over. You, no, it's it's a better name, I think. Cancelario. <laughs> you cursed you cursed him, Vinny. By, by, by you called him wrong name. You cursed him. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, going back to the league, we've got Joey there who's uh, been usurped. Well done, Mark. Um, Stephen Stress, he's got a phenomenal team, really. It's, it's, it's absolutely... He's a bit like you last season. You were the common star, but this guy is... Um, he's got a terrific team here. He's in the Bellerin trap, unfortunately, but... Um... <laughs> he got stung with Bellerin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, he's, he's he's doubled up on Spurs too. They have a bad run, but they could be fixture proof. He's Wilson there too. They, he's out next game, isn't he? But serious team otherwise. Lads, who are the guys, who are the players in FBL you should just never, ever, ever buy? Like, for me, it's Bellerin, Firmino. Um, who else? There's, so there's like, a few of them. They're um, good Dex, players. Dex and Rice. In, Oh yeah, definitely, hundred percent. In so Golo Kante. Kante, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Though. There's a few of them. Henderson. Yeah. All, all those defensive mid guys, I suppose, really, unless they're cheap. Yeah. I I think um, I think, um, I think um, Salah has definitely one. Keep away from him because he's getting five. How would you? Listen, John. William, just listen John. to me. Just listen to me. He's okay. getting five and six and seven points. It's not enough. It's not like what Bruno's doing. Um, look, this is kind of okay enough, you know. But, um, you know, I, I really miffed off. My Sarah. thinking, guys, was... Um, sorry. And also, My thinking I, was getting Jota in, in, in the forum Jota's in. Yeah. He might, yeah. Um, he yeah. might cancel out Salah's points and it'll free up funds for elsewhere. Yeah. Well, I can't. That's my that team there. Enough. That's not a bad looking team. Yeah, that's your team. Yeah, it's your team, Will. Like, it's a strong looking team. Looks very blue, William. Well, I brought in another blue. I brought in Mares for Manny. Manny's gone. Wow, it's almost like the, the touring team, isn't it? With all the blue jerseys. I made another chair. I got rid of, I had to get rid of Pickford as well. I got rid of him. Brought in Fabianski. I've gone three West Ham against United. Imagine that. Three defensive, like. What did you do, William? Did you do a, a minus transfer there? Yeah, I did a minus. Pickford is gone, Fabianski is in, and Mane is gone, and Maras is in. So I have a bit of change left over. Yeah, all right. Well, I wish you the best of luck, William. You know, we want you to get back and start frightening the hell out of people because you do. When you once you get in the top ten, you don't stop. So. um that's all I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm clutching at straws now, Vinny. I know. That's all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep somehow in, in, in contact. I'm 80 points behind the, the commando, uh, Joey Neenan here. And that's massive. And look, I probably could say nearly 100 down to Mark. So, um, Mark, um, 
you, you know, like fair play to you. So we've got loads of top dogs in here. We've got Mark, Stephen, uh, David McNamara finished fifth last year. So, you yeah, know, he's a, good he, he's a very good player and he should not be underestimated. underestimated. Christy, a former winner, is a top dog. Uh, Jason Coyne, uh, he played his wild card against me in the, in the King of the Travellers uh, this week. And he had about 20 points on the bench and I, I won by a point. So I'm just getting away with the, the King of the Travellers at the moment. You won't believe it. Uh, Ruan, he must be livid, have not he? He would be livid, yeah. Uh, Park uh, Ruan. Just a, a, shout out, a shout out to Jason there before you, before you go on. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Jason. He said he'd come on there some week as a guest appearance. So just I know he's listening in. So shout out to Jason. Yeah, he's a Mayo hurler as well. We want to get all the hurlers in there. Hopefully he'll come on with Aiden. And, your, and yourself and, and Shane. That's his Yeah, team. I have a feeling, um, look at the top dogs there rising up that table. I have a feeling that the viewers of this podcast will shoot up in the next few weeks. Well, look at the top dogs. They're all closing in. Like Richie Crinningham is a perennial player, the, the Christy Nickel. He's in there every year. And I think he was sixth or seventh last year anyway. Aidan Fitz came second. He's a top dog. Morgan is always in my leagues doing well. Joey Fahey is a bit of a surpriser. He's not going away. He dropped a little bit. Um, uh, Donald he he O'Brien. Is, he'll drop. Yeah, Donald O'Brien is a hurler. Um, he's um, he's a uh, he's he's always a perennial player. Um, Gilday is not too bad. I'm stuck in there <clears throat> on the fringes of the top ten, which I want to be in very soon. Um, but the top dogs are filtering up there, and uh, got Evo Duncan Hannon down a bit further in nineteen, but five thirty two to five five seven, where it's nothing. It's only a good game week. Everyone's still in it, um, but at the moment, Marky, um, it, it looks like it could be the top. Well, I think the top three are going to go away, to be honest with you, a lot more. And it's going to be a race, the best of the rest. Maybe Dave and Kilcourse is a danger, isn't he? Snowman. Uh, the top five look very solid now, in fairness. Yeah. That they top do. five, they're all very good. Like all those guys are. are monitoring their teams every week yeah, yeah there's a few fellas in the top 20 there that you know don't change their team and don't do anything i'm not saying that always works if i had picked the team i picked game week one if i had just left it be and not made any transfers or done anything i'd have more points now than i have yeah and all the bloody time and effort you put into it like yeah so that's ridiculous. like just overthinking it a bit, just to let it go some weeks. Mark, you remember you told me in the last game of the week last season, I just let my team ride and it worked out, you know, 80 odd points. Sometimes you just let it ride. Anyway, this is the Christy Kilcourse's team. Um, he's got Cancelaro there, not an awful lot on the bench, but um, he's got a surprise. Mark's still there. Hello, Mark. Mark's still there. Can't hear him, bud. He's uh, unmuted, I think. Oh, he's asked muted. He's to, muted. Maybe. Asked to unmute. Yeah, click that. Yeah, okay. No Vinny, problem. Will, you, will you bring up Fergal Boland's team there and we have a look, see how he did this week in the Ahamore uh, League? Yeah, I will. I just want to have a quick look at what da David McNamara is doing. I want, to say, I want to concentrate. Yeah. We have to start concentrating on these guys, you know. Uh, He's a seasoned player, David is. Um, oh, he played yeah, wild card. This is his wild card. Uh, he's gone for the Verdi like yourself. Well, loads of people went your way, William. It's no mis I don't think it was a mistake. Everyone thought it was no. It's fixtures, Vinny. Yeah, fixtures. Yeah, yeah it's fixtures. Um, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, it seems to be the same team as nearly everybody in the top six. Really, Grealish, Fernandez, Son, Jota, and Kane, and Calvert Lewin. Uh, and probably very this is what the top six are going to have the best yeah. players have this team Look yeah so Kane. there's no point having them yeah I mean, you can have you can have one or two Vinny but you can't have a, that midfield four like yeah. as someone like me or you we can we can have two of them but yeah. we can't have four of them like yeah I can't have four of them he's got good stuff on the bench as well they'll all play so this is what it's all about people out there you need guys that are playing they're going to rotate and something the bench has never been more crucial uh, if any there year absolutely I agree with you there yeah uh, just, like if you're if if you're if anyone's watching and you're you're well behind yeah you really don't have much choice but to try and transfer in fellas like Aguero if he's fit to play these guys take a risk with these guys that aren't owned by the fellas who are high up the table you know yeah 
I want to mention Parker Wan, 2017 winner as well. He's well up there, 275, good total. And there you, there you go again. It's He's got a bit of variation. Rodriguez and Bowen is the two guys you're saying that you need different to what, like, uh, David. Yeah, I was, Bowen, look at I Bowen. Wanted to bring, yeah, I wanted to bring in Bowen there last week, and I, and I didn't. You know, I brought in the two Leicester guys. So there's a lot of captain potential there for Pork, although I think Rodriguez is like the assist of the assister. They should bring in something like an extra point for a sister of a sister, maybe. But I, I don't want to talk about the bonus point system. It just infuriates me. That's another episode. Yeah. Um, OK, so you want to have a look at the Ahamore League. Well, um, Fergal Boland's dropped down from first place. He had a terrible game week there. Ooh, three points. Three. Um, what the hell happened here? Um, he, must, he must be following our advice or something. Well, he did his wild card the, last week, didn't he? Uh, after one he of did, my, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Like Foden. His defense. Is, he got nothing out of defense. No, Foden is just not even 50 50, William. I don't know if he'd even, I don't know when he'd start. He's not a regular, it's all random. No. Sorry, guys, just got pulled He's away. Okay. Is back, um, back in. Sorry. Um, yeah, this is Fergal Boland, oh. yeah, is Fergal yeah. Boland. He's, he's down to second now from first. Okay. So he's played his wild card last week, um, which I think he needed to anyway. But this week, it's just not a great wild card, Vinny, is it? No, no, no. Um, something on the bench, but Burr is not going to play in Ireland. I, oh my god, in Ireland, he's a, he's he's what that's a player you shouldn't have. Um, okay, sure, he's gone or something, he's no contract. To yeah, Villa yeah. or something like that. Uh, so let's talk about Keith Cassidy. I know Cassidy, he's a, he's a Armour footballer, isn't he? They're all footballers in this league. He's played I a few. I don't know who Keith Cassidy is. Yeah, I think he's out Kil Kilkelly way, some out that sort of country, you know. Uh, and Armour have a great pull in their area. Um, so this is the uh, 60. Oh, Kilkelly Village. <laughs> I was right. Yeah, yeah. So I was proved right there. At 62 points, um, he's overtook the Ahamore League. Gabriel's come. Maybe he's uh, something to talk about on the uh, defense. I don't know. That's, that's a look bag. That's look bag stuff there now, Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> guys, question for you guys. Is it time to start um, investing in the defense? Mm, definitely in the Chelsea defense. Definitely. I, I should. I should have... Something in Chelsea. I'll have to address that now because I'm going to get rid of Castagna. I, I don't know when he'll ever play. I've, no. that, I've a 5.6 million on the bench for like a month, two months, doing nothing. Jeez, I'd, hold on. I'd hold on to What Castagna. about Spurs, Southampton, Spurs, um, United even, Arsenal? Yeah, we can go into... Well, well you want to talk about the next <laughs> week's fixtures, yeah? This week's fixtures. Yeah, yeah, yeah go on. Uh, well, obviously... I. I want to. I'm getting rid of Villa, but I need to get rid of somebody to get the money. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, Marky. I might have to let you go off with De Bruyne and good luck, mate, and win the overall and uh, game over. Um, I concentrate <laughs> on the knot and the Kirk clap. Try and get fourth. Um, what do you? Is there anything out there sticking in your mind? There, Harry Kane probably get a hat trick against Arsenal, William. There's no easy fixture there, to be honest, apart from, you would say, City and Fulham. Fulham on a bit of a bounce now, though. Can't see. I mean, like, all the other fixtures are tough, like. I fancy, yeah. West, um, Ham. I fancy West Ham at home to United. I really do. Like, I think, I think United were, were um, you know, I know they won 3-2 or oh, a great comeback, but against Southampton, like, you know, I think they were... Um, made look better than what they are United I think United yeah. are just hanging in there they are and with Cavani coming off the bench he is uh, I think he's going to really do something for you I think United will be hanging in there I think I wouldn't rule out with their game in hand they could be just two points behind the leaders here um, so I'm not ruling these guys out they, they could I'm, I'm a bit worried about them William they're getting no. results just no, looking United. at the pictures there guys um Burnley, Burnley, Everton, there won't be many goals in that will. They're not after Burnley getting hammered last week. Yeah. Um, City City will beat Fulham by three or four, you'd, you'd assume, but she wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah, I think so, yeah. United will score two or three against West Ham, I think. 
Leeds will probably push up on Chelsea, so Chelsea might bang one or two there in behind. I think that'll be a high score Abraham. game. Chelsea and Leeds, a score draw. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Maybe two all or something like that. Sunday's games then, West Brom, Crystal Palace. Uh, who cares about that? Leicester have Leicester have the pick of the bunch, don't they? Leicester or yeah. Sheffield United. Yeah, yeah. Leicester uh, Sheffield won one nil, didn't they, the other day? So they well did they win? I can't remember. Um I think they got a result, didn't they? If I go back here again. Leicester lost to Fulham. Oh, they lost uh, to West Brom. Oh, so they're not picking up Anthony then. West Brom got the three points. Sorry, blah. So West Ham will be confident going into Palace. Palace will do nothing away. Zaha might be back. I don't know. Uh, um, uh, Sheffield and Leicester. That's where you're going. You probably, William, you're going to have to hope that Leicester will do something in Sheffield, but they're not conceding much. Yeah. Though. Um, I, I'm sure Harry, Harry Kane's going to score against Arsenal. There could be, I fancy us to win two or two or three one, or it could be two two. I don't know. Uh, and Liverpool and Wolves. I don't fancy Liverpool racking up a, a cricket score against. No. Um, no, I think I think I think one Wolves, nil Jota. You know, a one nil Jota. Gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm worried. Maybe. I'm concerned. I think a draw <laughs> would be realistic for Liverpool with the way things are with injuries. If if Wolves had Jimenez. I'd be worried for Liverpool, but they might get away with it. Yeah, mm. and then Brighton, Southampton at the end. Um, I, I, I fancy Southampton and more Prowse there. I, I'm thinking about I might cap him as well, to be honest with you. Um, Vinny, no, you've lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go for differential, Mark, here. You're, I, I, I have to think. Lord, 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 Prowse. You can just sit up there. Oh, I can just make one or two changes and I can still be top. But we have to make loads of different things. Me and William are in the same such a say, situation. We can't have the same team as you. We have to Jesus, change Mark, do you not realise? Do you not understand? <laughs> so, I don't know what it's like to be in your shoes, guys. Well, you did last year. You did last year. Me, me, and William, me and William have coached you for the last two years. You're Absolutely. Absolutely. You are a prodigy. Yeah, and not a bit of thanks did we Yes, Vinny, either. Yeah. Not a bit. It's well, like the Masters on The Apprentice here. Well, I'm, I, I, listen, I'll tell you one thing, Marky. We're all hoping and rooting and praying for you. But we got Stephen Strett, Nolan. He's, he, he is, he's really good. There's, there's a good quality there. They're going to push you all the way. If not, take it. And there's Christy Snowman coming up and Park Ruan. Christy's the guy I'm most worried about. At the yeah. Minute. And Aiden Fitz is coming up. Look at Aiden Fitz, 72. That's no joke, yeah, yeah. mate. That is serious he, hurling. He'll be there come Christy business end. Doing too. Yeah, yeah. Aiden, Aiden will be there come business end. Yeah, yeah. Look at Watkins. Oh, well, he, he lucky he didn't have Watkins. He missed the penalty there. Oh, he's really? in the Bamford trap as well. Who are the guys in the league that um, that will give up by Christmas? Can we can we try and predict one or two that will give up by Christmas? Uh, Bring up the league there again and we'll see. Joey Fahey. Morgan will half give up. Yeah, Kev yeah. Kilbride, I think, will be gone by Christmas. Jerry Feeney, Keith, Jerry Keith Robinson. Yeah. Keith Robinson usually gives up, but he's doing okay. Like Gilday will creep up the table. I'd say he'll, he'll creep up. Sean Gilday, what's his team? The further you, yeah, I don't know. Sean Gilday, uh, a toffee, and uh, interesting enough, Suchek will do okay. Um, Kane and the Bamford trap, as you say. Uh, I'm going to stick with Bamford anyway. I can no choice. Sterling, I'd have him starting anyway. So I think Sean's got something there. Um, he's got a bit of Chelsea. Um, he's got to think about Villa now. He got three Villa. No, he's got two Villa. Has he any Newcastle? He got Lewis Newcastle. Wow, he's got a bit of work. Size and my God, he is. He's, he needs to do something. A couple of transfers, and think ahead for the next couple of weeks over the Christmas. Um, let's have just a quick look at the um, King King of the Travelers. Let's have a look here. Um, you're not going to believe it, boys, but the average is probably going to win this competition. What am I going to do if the average wins? See, the average here is third. Okay. Um, somebody got took out. I think Fergal Walsh got took out by the average last week. Yeah, he got hammered by the average, 44. Um, are you still there, boys? Yeah. 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 Oh, I beat. Um, I didn't even know, but I beat Barry Cribben. I can't believe there's a, a yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's a close one. Line. It was oh, a close one. man would be happy. Well, that's why I triple captain Vardy, so that I, in order to be fair. <laughs> yes, so it wasn't all bad then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joey Neenan took out Shane. He won't be happy with that. Grealish done Shane there. Um, a, a draw with Jerry Freely and uh, our star man. That was an exciting one point each. Uh, the guru needs to, the guru killer is going oh, to have only He only lost by 30 points. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> not too bad. Um, the snowman took out Morgan. Morgan is going to go backwards a bit there now. Uh, my friend Dave Martin, West Ham, he's been took out by yourself, Oracle. Um, Jason just lost out narrowly to me. It's phenomenal. He had about 20 points on the bench. Uh, last week, Crinningham um, lost uh, Cody to COVID. And if COVID, Cody played, I would have lost to Crinningham, Richie. So I've been getting away with blue murder here. Um, um, so the, the, the lead and pace at the moment is... Um, Myself and Snowman. Snowman's got better points. So, yeah, it's, it's getting... That's ah, still much of a muchness. We're, let's look at this thing again in February. Um, yeah, it's coming It's coming into the Snowman's time of year, isn't it, really? We're getting towards Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weather for him. All right, it's the weather for him. Yeah. Uh, well, boys, what I want to, what I want to um, mention, especially on this episode, is um, a young... Um, young um, uh, a man, John Joe Finn, from Ballyhonis... Um, he emigrated from this country about 27 years ago, went to Spain, working for the government, and uh, he, um, he had a child and a few children, and one of them was uh, John Joe Patrick Finn. On the uh, town. Yes, and uh, he's one of our own. You taught this guy all he knows, Vinny. Yeah, young John Joe, um, born in, uh, in Spain, obviously. His mother, Odette, from uh, Cameroon and Spanish heritage. Uh, Basically, this is, um, I think, uh, um, June, June 8th, August 2012. I think it's June 12th. Uh, no, no, it was uh, August 12th, 2012. This is about eight years ago. Uh, young John Joe came to Ballyonis Town um, um, to the pitch up, uh, up by the railway station. And that's uh, Jarlath. Jarlath uh, Walsh there, the president of Ballyhonest Town. Uh, speaking Who's he to talking you. to? Is that Ronan Keaton? Uh, this is, uh, that's um, young John Joe Finn's father. His name is oh, John right. Joe as well. And that's his mother, Odette. And in the background is uh, grandfather Michael, who's from Ballyhonest as well, from Devlis. So a, this is young young John Joe. Um, obviously, this is a... Right. Hope, he doesn't, uh, hope he doesn't forget his roots. No, he, he won't. Vinny, uh, these pictures are worth a fortune. This is um, pictures of the paper. The yeah, this is young John Joe getting presented a, a Real Madrid shirt from the president of Ballyhonest Town FC. And um, that's his dad in goal. This, that's you know Paul Finn, his namesake. Um, there's young John Joe, all togged out. You know, it, you can see the the Real Madrid there. He's all togged out in his Real Madrid. That's when he signed for Real Madrid in two thousand eight in two thousand twelve. Is this, that Chris Pratt? Yeah, Chris is, Pratt, Jarlath, and John Joe all enjoying um, uh, the. They came for a football match. It was Claire Morris B versus Ballyonis Town that day. Um, that's John Kelly. This is just some really cool uh, pictures. I think that's Joey Neen in there. Um, I just go into the pictures. I think that's Joey Neen in there. Um, that's it is, yeah. Pete. Pete is that him? Is that the man himself? Yeah. The commando. That's the commando. This is Pete Matuska from Slovenia, Fergal Fitzmars, um, Paul Walsh, AP Kelly, uh, John, uh, Paul Finn, and young John Joe there in the middle. So that's Mickey O'Rourke there, and uh, that's John. There's loads of oh, some of the, the lads supporting. Um, just more of the family pictures. Uh, Chris there again, young John Joe doing some. One day we might be transferring him in on FPL, Philly. Yeah. So it was a great day out. Loads of loads of fun. That's um, this is Bunon, Paul Nolan. He's 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 half my team in the FPL. If you if you see that Vincent Bunon, well, there's a great picture of himself there. Um, um, it's just some great memories. Yeah, better picture there uh, of the of the belly on us. This Fergus Coin there and Ronnie Ronnie Ron, um, Ronnie the Rocket Robinson, uh, Mick Waldron, John Kelly. 
uh, and some of the other lads. That's Miro Rylak there. We had a very good team back then. We were winning loads of Tonra Cups and everything back then. And now we're in the Super League. So that, the Mayo uh, Association and Super League. Just a better, nicer picture there. Um, there's some, oh, that's uh, Mulrennan. I think Sean Mulrennan there. That's Seamus. Seamus uh, and uh, it's my cousin, uh, Mar Martina. Uh, some great picture. That's me, obviously. I had to get in there. I was reporting for the Western then, so um, managed to sneak a picture. In. That's his young brother, Brandon, uh, John. Um, so some good memories. And everybody's wondering why have I pulled all this stuff up on that brilliant day, the 12th of August. Um, because from Real Madrid in 2012, he's grown up to be a young a young teenager, hasn't he, boys? And uh, Shane Healy he has. pulled up. Um, Shane, Shane Healy uh, pulled up. This is um, John Joe Patrick Finn, midfielder, Getafe, age 17, date of birth. So this is the flash score. He's, he's in the system. He's got the Spanish thing there, but as you know, as you know yourself, he's born in Spain and he can declare... We're all hoping one day we'll see what he'll do. Um, that's Patrick. He was listed in the subs for um, a game for Getafe at the weekend that they drew 1-1. Um, I think they were playing Atletico Madrid. He didn't, com he didn't come on, did he? No, no, no. He, he come on? You can see these are the subs here. The arrows are the guys that came all on. Right, right. He's, a mid he's an attacking yeah. midfielder. And young John Joe says that um, he's modelling his game on Cristiano Ronaldo. So um, no pressure there on Young. He's an attacking midfielder. Um, so that, that's the story with um, Young, John, Joe, Patrick, Finn. And let's keep an eye on him and see what happens. But um, 17 is, um, you know, 17 is quite old in football now, isn't it, guys? You know? Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose he's with Getafe. Like, yeah. You know, when, yeah. you know, if he... If he get some game time he might get yeah. picked up by uh, yeah. a bigger club yeah, yeah possible he, he just mm. needs to break in he's, he's only the, the, the sky's the limit so I just want this amazing journey and seeing all fair to um, to his dad and his mom and his relatives and the whole lot it, it's, it's, it doesn't happen by magic does it guys a career like that you know the underage stuff I'm sure it doesn't <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure it takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so going back to this, is there anything else we can chit chat about? Um, I was just looking at Jota was the most transferred in last week. Uh, Wilson was there, Ward Prowse. All these guys in the, are one, two, three. These are the most transferred in. Um, this, is that the most transferred in this coming game week? or Last. Last, last game week. Yeah. Well, no, this is actually updated. This is what's happening now. I think. Yeah, I'd say that's for this coming week. I'd imagine. I think this is handy just to see for the likes of me and you, William, is to see who's on yeah. them. Like, there's not a lot on Walker, 10%, 1.8% on Cavani still. Mares is the big differential there. So uh, I may maybe that's the only thing I can try and do is this. Well, I don't want to copy you, William. I, I'm in the same sort of boat. You're welcome to, or you could, uh, a bigger, a bigger, uh, risk you could take is to bring in Sterling but if he's playing tonight he might not play weekend yeah what's going on uh, Shakhtar 2-0 or beaten Real Madrid by two goals in the snow wow they don't like the snow so it's good it's a good job young John Joe left Madrid Madrid have turned into rubbish um, go on go on Shakhtar is he on, is he on loan <laughs> is he on loan at Getafe or did no, I think buy. he's. I think I'd he's say. there for. I think he's there for good. I think John Joe's been transferred there. I think. All right. You no, know, I think. I think that's. I was doing a bit of research on this during the day, and I. I couldn't get much more detail. Uh, but though he got a feature right. in the Western People last week, I think it was a little feature on, online feature now. Um. So, yeah. you're going to get ready for Liverpool and Ajax, William. Are Are, are you um? Open? What's your um thoughts about um, that? Oh, look, I just want us to get through every game without any more injuries, really. And just to get, get to Christmas, be in the top three in the league. Uh, what kind of, we only need another win in the Champions League to be, to be really sure, I think, you know. Um, 
which we'll, 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 we mightn't get it tonight, but we'll get it against Mitchell and Mitchell and next week. Anyway, they're yeah. useless. You've got so. Kelleher, Nico Williams, Matt Tip, Fabino, Robinson. It's not the worst. You've got Curtis Jones there and there. It's a good team, mate. I've not taken Ajax for granted there. Uh, Firmini on the bench. Yeah, well, we've, we've, we haven't many more we can play, really, apart from what you see on the bench. Clarkson what's happened and Kane. To, what's happened to um, Alisson? Is he injured or something? Uh, is he on the bench? Or him, Adrian. Oh, Christ, don't tell me he is. Wait to see. I hope he doesn't have COVID. Oh, who knows? I don't know. I didn't hear anything about Alison. Hmm? Yeah. All right. I got to sign off here, Vinny. Okay, guys. The week. Listen, okay, guys. Um, I'll sign off as well. Thanks, William. And uh, Mark is gone. Uh, God bless. Bye. Best of luck. Best of luck this week. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, so that's uh, nearly about that. Um, I have a few more minutes here. I suppose I can just ramble along. Um, what is there to kind of have a look at now here? No, there's not. That's about basically it, everybody. Thank you for um, for joining us this week again. Uh, any of you, you know, that regularly join in. Uh, I try to... Um, help with the my help on my my fellow top dogs in Ballyhonest that we try to just do a quick synopsis of everything and keep it's just a, a quick way that you can just tune in for an hour and get away from the world and see what's going on and it takes a bit of preparing to get this done so um I hope you enjoy that and god bless and take care and uh good luck to young John Joe Patrick Finn now uh, one of our own and um we'll be looking forward to seeing um what happens this game week uh, don't know if Fulham are going to keep City down too, too much hmm. anyway, God bless and take care guys